After several weeks of growing tensions, diplomatic sanctions, and ultimately futile attempts to impede President Vladimir Putin's planned attack, Russia began its invasion of Ukraine early Thursday morning. As nearly 200 Russian troops crossed into Ukraine, targeting a number of the country's key military sites and marking the official start of war, many world leaders warned that the conflict could soon become the biggest in Europe since World War II. President Putin has chosen a premeditated war. Mere hours later, the invasion has already caused dozens of deaths in the capital of Kiev and beyond, and an estimated 100 Ukrainian civilians have fled their homes in search of safety. Supermarkets, pharmacies, ATMs, and gas stations are overflowing with people, as they rush to stock up on supplies. Subway stations are being used as bomb shelters, and some parents are even putting stickers on their children to indicate their blood types. As news of the invasion, and its consequences for the Ukrainian people, has spread, many have watched in horror, feeling desperate to help. Major protests and demonstrations in support of Ukraine's right to independence are underway outside of Russian embassies across the globe, with more expected over the weekend, but a handful of organizations are also actively working to provide food, shelter, medical supplies, and support to affect. Here are some ways you can help. This non-profit volunteer organization distributes medical supplies, food, and donations to Ukrainian refugees and people on the ground in Ukraine, as well as offers support to Ukrainian families who have lost soldiers to war. Donations toward their current fundraiser will help provide emergency medical aid and humanitarian relief to those on the front lines. The UN Refugee Agency, USA for UNHCR, is accepting donations via a restricted fund to provide emergency aid to children, women and men displaced by the violence in Ukraine.